There is a forlorn facet to the passage of time. Transition, adjustment, revision, decline, and a newborn attachment, not but ankle deep to the memories in makeup that make up my grief. Wading through wreckage to get to the grass where the flowers can grow and the children can laugh. How I trudge through my trials, trying not to get sad, but my compulsive behavior makes me no good at that. When I lift up my hands and I raise my voice, I cry out in the agonizing truth that it's all been my choice. And the choices I'm making aren't in line with sense. There's no reason for my retreating. I'm staffed and dense, so I steward my shame and let it share my name, neglecting my house and accepting all blame. I stare at the man in the mirror with a firm, square gaze, aware that he's changing and lost in a daze. How it costs concentration, how it runs me such stress, how I bolster and buckle, oh my dwindling duress. When I confess that my trouble might be exaggerated, my turmoil all toothless, my fight fabricated, I'm relieved and I'm troubled, a confusing coherence that my mundane boogeyman with transparent appearance who warrant a bevy of questions to my ever active mind such as how many of my problems did I desire to find? How many manufactured? How few a facade? Am I mental? Am I normal? Is my brain all that odd? I need to take a deep breath and let the truth keep sinking. I've gone to bed with a leech and its name is overthinking. But time trickles away, yes, it tick, tick, ticks away. So forgive my critical self, but I'd rather never waste a day on solipsistic cerebral strings, but rather with repartee and clever chains of charming darling carpe diem ways. <laughs> That's rather with repartee, not rather with repartee. That's not. There's no W. It was it was the the duck. Da no, not duck. So Vester, that's the cat. Who is the duck? You get it. You get it. The black duck. You you get it.